What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Stadium Round 2. So, you'll remember in the last episode, we defeated the semi-final and the final battles of Petite Cup for Round 2. So tonight, we're going to take on Poke Cup Pokeball for Round 2. And I'm going to choose our team, and when I do, we'll be right back. Please stay with us. Alright guys, so I have my team together. I'm going to try to beat um, this whole entire cup uh, for Poke Cup Pokeball with first forms and see how well I do. So without further ado, we're going to do the first three battles right now. Alright, we got the juggler to start off with. Okay. So from the looks of this team, we've got three Pokemon that are going to be weak to Psychic. So I'll definitely start with Abra. Then we have... Um, I can put Squirtle in to deal with Graveler. And then I can put... Pikachu in to deal with Poliwhirl. Alright, here we go. We're finally underway with Pokemon Tournament Poke Cup Poke Ball. We have a large percentage of Pokemon with a bewildering mix of moves. Alright, so I'm starting off with Abra. The juggler's starting off with Hitmonchan. Now Hitmonchan has really bad special here. So this should one shot, hopefully. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon and it joke. does, yes. Now notice the levels, level 52. So Thank even in Poke Cup Pokeball, the, the levels are oftentimes going to be higher than 50, so that's something we'll need to watch out for. As Poliwhirl gets sent out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Reflect to guard against any physical moves. Oh! So he's going to go for Metronome Withdrawal, so that's going to boost his defense. I'm going to boost my own defense by one stage. And now I'm going to go for Psychic. Oh, Metronome Splash. <laughs> I love that animation. So he's gotten two useless moves to start off with uh, from Metronome. Alright, one more Psychic should take it down. It's going to go for Jump Kick. What now? But because we have Reflect up, it's not going to do hardly any damage to us. This Poliwhirl gets knocked out. Abra with Reflect is going to be critical as we go throughout the Pokeball. And the last one's going to be Ghastly. Alright. So let's go for Psychic. We are faster. We do get the super effective shot. Oh, he's going to try to put us to sleep with hypnosis. Ah. Uh, we do get put to sleep. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to Pikachu. That way he can't do any other sleeping tactics to us while we already have a sleeping Pokemon in our party. As you can see, he's going to go for Dream Eater to try to get health back, but of course, it's only going to work on opponents that are asleep. I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. We'll see if we're faster. Yes, we are faster. And we're going to get this continue. Excellent. And that'll wrap up Battle 1. Good job, Pikachu. Alright. Let's head on to battle two. Here we go, against the biker. Okay, so five out of six are going to be weak to Psychic, so we'll definitely start with Abra. I'll back that up with Ghastly, and then... I don't have any fighting moves to deal with Wigglytuff. However, what I can do is I think I'll go for Charmander here. Here we go. What kind of battle can we 
back to seat. Begin round two. Oh, so he does start with Wigglytuff. Look at that HP, 225. I'm gonna put up a reflect right away. It's more resistant to physical. Just in case they have a high-powered normal move. They do go for body slam. Body slam. Ooh. That'll be close to a one uh, a two shot. I'm gonna switch to Ghastly. Here's a Pokemon. Because I definitely want to save A save Abra for the other five Pokemon he's got because all the others are going to be weak to Psychic. Body Slam's not going to work because we're Ghost type. I'm going to go for Confuse Ray. So hopefully we can get some turns where Wigglytuff can attack itself. It's going to go for Blizzard. Ah! Oh. We got frozen. No fighting back. Ah, uh, that's terrible. Um, we still haven't done any damage. They strike fighting. All right, so let's switch Ghastly out. Pokemon returns to its Pokeball. Oh, it's coming! They're already using it's fully evolved forms. Confusion. We can't get frozen again. Ah, uh, we do get critically hit. Uh, let's go for flamethrower. We're in trouble right now. What's that? A hit. It's just gonna go for body slam. How's that? There, it's a hit. Oh, is it down and out? The next Pokemon is being pressed. So if we lose Abra, we're going to have to use our continue here. Here's a Pokemon chain. Something I really don't want to do. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. I'm going to go for Thunder Wave. I want to try to paralyze it. Get you Thunder Wave. Oof, it's paralyzed. It's going to go for Body Slam. There it goes. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Because in Gen 1, you don't dethaw on your own unless you're hit by a fire type move. And I think Haze also gets you dethawed as well in Gen 1. So we're gonna have to use our continue. Uh, this is unfortunate. I played that way too safe. All right, let's try it again. I'm gonna start with Diglett this time and then go for Ghastly and then Abra. Here we go. What kind of battle can we expect to see? Begin round two. Okay, so they send out coughing this time. It could explode, so I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Now. Earthquake! Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice! Coughing's got high defense. Oh, it's gonna go for Fire Blast. Ah! Ah! We get burned. Fireworks are flying! Alright, let's go for Slash. What now? Watch the weak. Oh. Fire blast. The savage hit. Wow, this is not going oh, well. Is it down and out? This is not not going well. What will the next Pokemon be? All right, let's switch to Ghastly. So we can easily go for Psychic to knock out Coffee. This battle is still up in the air. A Psychic Blast! Perfect! Oh! It's down! 
All right, who's the next the one going to be? Pokemon is being pressed. Easily the Wigglytuff is the best Pokemon on his team. Oh, it's Wigglytuff. Because it froze me last time. How will the type difference affect I'm going to go for Confuse Ray. And Wigglytuff's going to attack itself. Excellent. Alright, let's go for Psychic. I at least want to try to get a special drop on it. No, no special drop. And again, a one-turn uh, one turn confusion. Thankfully, we don't get frozen this time. Let's go for another confuse, right? And Wigglytuff attacks itself again. Alright, let's go for another Psychic. Hopefully Confusion's gonna last more than one turn this time. That would be great. So one more Psychic's gonna knock it out. Ah. Uh. Okay. Wigglytuff doesn't have all that great a special, while Ghastly does, that's why it's not doing a whole lot. One more Psychic's gonna take Wigglytuff down. Yes, we do get a critical. And we do get the KO right there. Alright, who's the last one gonna be? Machop! Look at that HP. Level 52, 160 HP. Let's go for Psychic. Now Machop could have Earthquake. Ooh! Super effective critical hit. That'll do it for Battle 2. So we do win the rematch, at least, against the Biker. Alright. And that will get us into our third and final match of the evening here. As we take on the medium this time. Let's see, Zubat at level 53, Seeking, Butterfree. So there's a couple of evolved forms here. Um, let's see what we can do. I think I want to start off with Pikachu, Diglett, and I think we can round the team off with Ghastly. Here we go. The upcoming battles look promising. We're into round three. All right, so they do start off with Ghastly. I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave. They go into battle poses. We do get the paralysis. It's gonna go for confuse, right? Okay, so I do have plans to switch out. Um, I'm gonna switch out to my own ghastly. My main hope at this point is that this one doesn't have psychic. Oh, it's Ah, it does. There's the attack. Whoa! Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. All right. Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? All right, let's go for our own psychic. Vigorous attack. Super effective. Ah. A psychic blast. No, this Pokemon looks wrong. Oh! So our Ghastly goes down. down. I probably should have gone for Abra instead. Alright, let's put in Diglett. Oh, it's Diglett. It has to make up for lost ground. And then we can follow this up with How Earthquake to get rid of Ghastly. Next 
That little diglet's got some spunk. I will say that much. Ghastly goes down. Who's the next one gonna be? Lick a tongue. Uh, this this one's got high defense. Uh, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um. Let's go for slash. Wow, that was awful. It's going for screech. That'll lower our defense by two stages. Let's go for earthquake. Come on, let's get a critical. Yes. Okay, good. That'll set up nicely for Pikachu. It's gonna go for strength. That'll knock Diglett out really easy. At least we're gonna put it. At least uh, I should say it'll be in range for Seismic Toss. Yeah, that would definitely be the smart play here. I'm hoping it goes for either Butterfree or Zubat as the last Pokemon. If we can get either Butterfree or Zubat, we have a much better chance. We'll see. Seeking. I'll take Seeking. I'll definitely take Seeking. Let's go for Thunderbolt. The battle is coming right down to the wire. That'll be a two shot. It's gonna go for supersonic. Uh oh. Uh, Alright, Pikachu. This is where we gotta focus. Ah. Uh, waterfall. What's this? Oh, uh, come on, Pikachu. Shake this off. Yes! Only one turn of confusion. Go, Pikachu! Yes! That'll do it for Battle 3. Awesome. Pikachu coming in clutch once again, just like it did against the Poliwag in the Petite Cup. Excellent. Excellent job right there. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode of the first three battles of Poke Cup Pokeball Round 2. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Um, I will have the previous episode linked in the top right hand corner. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of this series. And without further ado, guys, this is your host, Zori. Signing off. You guys take care. Have a great night. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.